what's up guys i have a huge announcement first we're gonna we're gonna address this hat because i bought it a, a while back and i wear sweatpants like daily so i had nothing to wear with it but today i had to take pictures for something that i'm about to talk about in a minute and so i was like you know what let's play let's play with this hat and honestly i got a lot of cute pictures this month this year this year has already taken me by like a massive surprise um i have a lot of goals i have a lot of goals this year a lot of things i want to do and then you know what god was like hey mm, i'm gonna change your plans because i got something better for you so as terrifying as this was to even do i did it i'm opening a salon what what backstory yes i've written a book yes i went to school for marketing yes i have wanted to dabble in every little thing possible how did we get here i don't know <laughs> to be honest it's crazy to me that this is happening like i knew god was taking me into something different i just didn't know what it was i have been a licensed cosmetologist for like 14 plus years it's it's time for me to open up my own place and i'm really really excited i was terrified i just the thought of this alone has been crazy and i already if you follow me on any social media i've already posted all of this like i've already talked about i didn't i haven't talked about it i just posted that i'm opening a salon this month and a lot of you guys were shocked because you guys are like where did this even come from this came out of nowhere um i thought you were writing books i thought you were doing this i thought you were yes okay yes to all of those things but i don't know i it the offer presented itself i prayed about it i talked about it with the people closest to me um and decided that you know what we are gonna do something different this year and if you guys have been following me at all like even like remotely a little bit you know that i have been a stay-at-home mom for 10 years and in that time i've still done hair i've kept my license up to date i've still been doing hair the entire time but it's just been from home it hasn't been as many people as like a normal salon it's more so close friends family um and sometimes like friends or family of friends if that makes sense and it uh my divorce is about to go through next week actually i will be getting divorced as long as everything goes how it should i will be divorced next week and i was like you know what i i'm so tired of being home and i'm sure a lot of you feel like that ever since COVID happened but i am just over being home i want to be out in the world i want to do something i want to meet new people i want to i want to help people feel good about themselves out there not just in here and i'm going a little stir crazy i've always been an extrovert and COVID made me turn into this little introvert and i'm bored and i'm over it and i wanted to do something that kept me creative something that i was good at something that i could have fun doing and i think the thought of going back to work in a salon i always loved my clients my customers i always loved meeting new people but i truly hated who i worked for i i didn't like the inner salon drama i didn't like the managers the hours that i was forced to work certain things i was forced to wear i just wasn't about it and so the more i thought about it um i ended up doing a one of my friends her sister-in-law i did her hair and i sort of fell back in love with doing hair with meeting new people because i'd have the same people for the past 10 years be with me so i was not meeting anyone new it was just you know the people i already knew and so talking and being around someone who i didn't even know anything about i didn't know anything about her hair like previously to this and i don't know i just kind of fell in love with it again and i jumped on this opportunity to open up my own salon so a lot of the questions i'm getting is are you opening a huge salon like are you gonna have a bunch of girls working with you are you just doing a rental chair like what are you doing so i'm actually going to be um i'm partnered with salon lofts 
So if you don't know anything about that, basically you walk into a building and there's a bunch of little rooms all throughout the little building. And one of those rooms is mine. It is my hair salon. I make my hours. I choose my products. Um, I choose when I want to work, how I want to work, my dress code, all of that good stuff. And I'm still in the salon atmosphere, so I'm not technically alone, but I get to have my creative space and not worry, ha not worry about having to like do payroll and manage other employees and all that stuff. I don't know if maybe one day I'll do that. At this point in my life, I don't think I could ever say, oh, I'm never going to do that because I didn't think I'd own a salon. Um, so now I have that <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's, that's how it's going to be. Um, I actually just sent over my paint colors to um, my the girl that I was talking to, the girl that like manages the actual location that I'm at. Um, she makes sure everything runs smoothly and like if I need anything I reach out to her. So they paint everything for free and I just pick whatever colors I want. So I sent those over to her today and they are like putting some stuff up and fixing holes in the wall and doing all that good stuff. And I have been working on ordering my products and figuring out decor and shelving and storage and all of that stuff. So I've been working on doing all of the little things. So my goal is to open up by, here, let's see on my calendar right here. So my goal is to open up the 27th of March, which is a Monday. A lot of salons aren't open on Mondays. It's easier for me because that is when my soon to be ex-husband has the kids. So it's just easy for me. I can go in and be there all day and just have it all to myself. I get to set my hours accordingly. Everything is run through an app, so it's super easy. No one has to call me to figure out what works best for them versus best for me. They just go in and whatever's available, they click on it and they just add everything. I've set my prices the way I want them. I've picked the services that I want to do. And I'm excited. I was so scared at first and I had someone remind me that even if I barely break even, I'm doing something that I love to do. I'm getting out of the house. I'm showing my kids that you can do something crazy, different, new, and it's gonna be something big and I'm excited. Now, where this is gonna take me, I have no idea, but I don't know. It's a fun new adventure. I really do like change. I embrace it pretty frequently, to be honest, you know after a little while that I was I was over coaching and I didn't want to do it anymore but I still love the aspect of like helping people and making people feel good and connecting with people and I can do that this way and so I don't know I'm very excited and the the hardest thing for me has always been taking money from people like even when people are like oh you know how much is it I always feel like I, I have to discount something for someone but I've definitely switched my mindset around because one, I have 14 years of experience doing this, but two, I have to provide for my kids anymore. I don't have a fallback anymore. I don't have a husband to rely on anymore. I'm by myself with my kids. And if I want to make sure that we have a good place to live and that we have, you know, I have things to be able to give them or be able to take them places they've never been before um, to be able to get my car. I, you girl don't have a car and I need a car. So for right now, me and my mom are gonna be sharing, but um, the name of my hair salon is Riptide Hair Studio. And the reason I named it that is because obviously, number one, I'm obsessed with summer and the beach and all things ocean related. But a, I saw that I wanted to play on words with something that had to do with the ocean because I knew I was going to have it themed like that. And a, I was looking at different metaphors and different quotes and different stuff like that. And the metaphor that I had found for Riptide is that it pulls you away from what is comfortable and cozy and safe. And it brings you into changes that are new for you. And it might be uncomfortable and it might be terrifying but it's gonna take you somewhere else. And that is exactly why I did that because this this is all not comfortable for me. This, <laughs> this is not safe territory. I haven't worked out in the human world in like 10 years with other people and stuff. And so it's really scary, but I have so much support already that it's unbelievable. Like I, 
I didn't think, I don't know, I really didn't think I would have the support that I have. People that I know, people that I don't know, people that are very close to me, everybody is really, really, really behind me and supportive with this. And honestly, if this is how my year is starting, I don't even know what to expect for the rest of it because God just keeps showing up. God just keeps showing up and showing off and I'm baffled every step of the way because I knew something big was gonna happen this year and I don't know if this is the big thing, but if there's more, <laughs> then then hey, you know, I'm down. I'm like, I'm okay, I'm here for it. So um, I wanted to update you guys because obviously I have not posted a video in a while. I've been trying to figure out my life and uh, life after divorce is what's next. So technically, you know, I've been free or single or whatever you wanna call it for the past two years, but I'm in a very different mindset. I'm in a very different place. I'm at peace, I'm happy and i'm really optimistic about my life now and so uh so yeah so if you guys would be like the sweetest people in the world and please go follow um riptide hair studio i created a TikTok, an instagram and a facebook page so whatever you have please go follow it there's not going to be a lot of content on it just yet um but i am working on it and i'm going to be posting all things hair slash salon related so a lot of people have wanted to see the inside of the studio and some people want before and afters there will be hairstyles there will be all, it's just gonna be all things hair it's not gonna be like my personal life i still have my personal page um but it's gonna be everything about the studio so i'm so excited to start this new adventure and to all of you who are supporting me and my little small business my business my my salon thank you Thank you to all of you. I love you guys so much and I will see you eventually. <laughs> Bye.